Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a couple of projects, well, three projects, using the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit for June 2022. This is how your kit will arrive. Okay, sometimes it's nice to see everything laid out. Um, I love your content sheet. I just think it's so majestic. I think it's beautiful. Very calming. <laughs> Um, it tells you everything that's in the kit right here, and then also on the reverse side, there is um, kind of a theme-filled picture. So, we are going to take a look at our stamp set this month. This month, it's a 6x8 stamp set, and it is a beautiful um, underwater mermaid theme with lots of sentiments, and um, there is coordinating frame cuts that will cut out everything, everything but the bubbles here. But you get the coordinating frame cuts. This month you get a water flow brush. And then you also get, you get some pretties for embellishing. You get some pearls. These are adhesive back pearls. It's a full size package. And then you also get, this is the Mermaid Reactive Palette Hero Hues um, full size ink pad. And I think it's mermaid. Yes, it is. There are five different colors on here, which makes it really nice. And the reactive ink means you can color watercolor with it. Let's take a look real fast. It's so nice because you get five colors in one, and they are beautiful. Should we swatch it out real fast? Let's see. You can see all those pretty colors. Perfect for underwater scenes. So let's put everything aside, and we're going to jump in. And we are going to do a little bit of stamping and watercoloring. Let me zoom back out here. Okay, we're going to start by stamping the fish. And I'm going to be using my Hero Hues um, pigment ink pad. This is a great ink pad if you want to um, emboss because your ink will stay sticky for a while. But I'm going to stamp this on watercolor cardstock and then I'll go over this with clear embossing powder and then I'll melt it and then I'm going to repeat the process until my entire panel is full now after I have four of my fish stamped I'm going to go ahead and take my coral and on these two sides I'm going to go ahead and stamp um, five of my my coral images and we'll do the same thing we're just going to heat and boss them now that we have all of our images stamped um, I got inky fingers on this side so I could flip it around and then on this one I got a really close um, it might affect my die cutting but um, I'm hoping that this this I can still get away with it, but everything is heat embossed. Now what we're going to do is zoom in and do a little bit of watercoloring. Um, I'm bringing in an acrylic block, and then I'll take my Hero Hues Reactive ink palette, and I'm going to add some ink to my acrylic block, and then I'll use my spray bottle. And I'm going to spray my watercolor panel on my first card. And I'm going to use my water brush here. And I'm going to use a baby wipe to wipe off the excess. If you want to tape this down, you could, but I don't think it's necessary. But I'm going to, um, there's five different colors, and I stamp five corals. So we're going to just add, um... Uh, we're going to create um, five different colors of coral. If you want to intensify or add a little bit of shading, don't add as much water to your water brush. And then you can add a little bit of darker shading. But I'm going to continue on, play a little bit of music while I color. And when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Let me zoom in a little bit more.
Okay, next, I'm gonna set my, my watercolor panels that we just colored in aside, and then I'm gonna bring back my ink pad. And I'm gonna take my, I wiped off my acrylic block, and I'm gonna take my ink pad, press it down, kind of shimmy it a bit, so I get that rectangle ink on my, um, my acrylic block. Next, I'm gonna take my water bottle, and I'm gonna spray my paper really good, and then I'll tip, I'm going to flip over my acrylic block and just place my, um, my acrylic block on my watercolor cardstock. And then I'm just going to let it sit and let it do its thing. In the meantime, I'm going to take each one of my panels that I colored in. I'm going to put this inside a box here. And I'm going to use my white iridescent shimmer spray. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer and softness. Shake it up really good. I'm gonna spray. Add a little bit of shimmer. I'll do the same thing to my coral. And then I'll do the, my last panel. Okay, and then I'm going to lift up my block, and it, it soaked in really nicely. I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to add some white iridescent shimmer to this also. Okay, now we have nice shimmer to our watercolor. kind of softens them a little bit. We can actually go over our panel with a towel this way we have the shimmer but it's not covering up my black embossing okay I am going to use my heat gun these are pretty saturated um, I'm gonna dry these and then I'll take the coordinating dies and I will die cut out each of my um, my elements here I have everything die cut and I did use my um, nesting rectangle dies to cut out my background here. For our first card, we're going to stamp directly on our panel here. Do we want the... Yeah, I think that's a good position here. Actually, we'll tape it down. And then I'm going to take my fish that's in the stamp set, some stamping directly on that watercolor background. I'm going to stamp one more time. My Hello stamped beautifully, but my fish needs a little, a little more richness. Okay. After we have our sentiment and our fish stamped, I'm going to go ahead and add some clear embossing powder over it. And we'll do a little heat embossing. After our panel is nice and cool, you don't want it hot, I have a piece of packaging that I trimmed down just slightly slightly larger than my image. Now we're going to bring in some clear sequins, and I'm going to put them in the back here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my panel, place it over my sequins, and then we're going to add some adhesive behind our panel here. And I'm going to fold over my sides. First I'll fold over the right, and then I'll fold over the left. And then what I like to do is pick it up, and at the corner I will cut at an angle and then this corner, I'll cut the other angle off. This corner, we'll cut at the angle. And then this corner, we'll cut at the angle too. Now my flaps on the sides are a little bit bulky, but no worries, you can just trim those off. Packaging tears really easy. Okay. 
If you have some sequins that want to pop out, no problem, just tuck them back in there. And then now I'm going to go over the bottom and the top once more with my tape runner. And we can fold over these flaps on the back side. And we're just basically sealing in those sequins on our panel. Like so. Now I'm going to flip this over and then we're going to add some foam adhesive behind it. I'm going to go ahead and secure my shaker on um, a piece of pink cardstock. This is going to help flatten it too. And then we can flip it around and we're going to add adhesive behind here. And then we're going to tap this right down in the middle of our card. And then that card, and then that finishes card number one. For my next card, I created a frame with an A2 size panel, and I used my nesting rectangle dies to cut out a window in here. Now we're going to take the coral, and I'm going to fill in my background with the coral. So to do that, we're going to add adhesive all along the back side of our window. And then we're going to do a little tucking with our cordial. And I want to make sure that some are overlapping. And then um, I have a purple one too. And then also, it's okay if they overlap each other. Okay, once I'm happy with the placement, what I'm going to do next is flip it around. And I'm going to add some foam adhesive all around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper after I put foam adhesive behind my frame. And then this is going to go right on top of my card base. And the pearl is really showing through. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, there's a few areas where I need to glue down. And then I'm just going to use my acrylic block to hold that down while it adheres. And then for my sentiment, in our stamp set, we have happy, do we want happy birthday? Or do we want thank you? I think we want thank you. Let's stamp thank you. And I'm going to stamp this on some white cardstock. For this, I'll use my intense black ink here. Lovely. And then for my sentiment here, instead of cut blocking it off, I'm going to use my scissors and we're going to trim around it. Okay, I went ahead and trimmed around my thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and add our thank you right over our coral. Kind of overlapping on the side. I like to do that. And then... Um, we're going to add some pearls, but we'll do that at the end. We're going to fill it in with some pearls. So that will finish off card number two. For my next card, we have, I have a two and a half inch wide piece of cardstock by five and a half inches. Um, this is where we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use again, my intense black ink. And for this card, we're going to make a birthday card. So I'll stamp this towards the bottom. It stamps beautifully. Okay, now we have our fish that we colored in. I only want three of them. So um, I went outside the lines more with my pink one. So we're going to use the purple, the blue, and the teal for this card. I'm going to go ahead and flip over my fish. And we're going to add some foam adhesive behind here. I think we're going to add our blue fish first. And then we'll add our purple. And I'm going to overlap them. And then we'll add our teal. I love the way that looks. I think it looks really fun. Okay, for my card base, we're going to do something really fun. I'm going to open it up. Okay, now what we're going to do is take some post-it note um, 
tape and I'm going to mask off the top of my card base. And then I'm also going to mask off the bottom of my card base. And then I'm going to bring in my craft mat. And I'm going to use the ink pad directly on my card base. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to drag it across my card. And as I drag it, I'm going to add pressure to try and get an even, um, an even flow. I'm going to do it one more time. And that worked out lovely. I'm going to go ahead and remove my masking tape or my post-it note tape. And then we have a fun, colorful background. I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. And then this is going to go off to the left of my card. And we'll tack that down. And I think this would be great for a boy or a girl. Okay, after we have this done, we're going to bring it back in. Oh, actually, I need to trim off the excess here. You know, I really like the way this looks. So, we're going to do a backtrack, and then we're going to go back to our first card. And I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock. Okay, I liked the way this looked so much that I want to add these colors behind my very first card. We put pink, but I'm going to switch it out. Let's go, let's go bold. So let's go directly on our panel. And we're going to go across the entire bottom. How about that? We'll hold it down and kind of shimmy this ink pad across the bottom. That looks so neat. And then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to have to flip my ink pad around also. And I'm going to repeat it lining up. I don't want a white gap. So I'm going to line up my color against that green. Okay. And I think that looks wonderful. I think that looks, I just love those colors. So what we're gonna do here is remove our pink and we're gonna place our, our inked background directly on our card base. Do we want a little bit of a border? I'm gonna trim off. I want a little bit of a border here. So I'm gonna trim off. I'm gonna trim off a quarter inch. Okay. And then we'll place this on our card base, leaving a little bit of a white border. I trimmed a quarter inch off. And then I'm gonna replace. my shaker on the front here. And I think that looks lovely. I love the bright colors. I'm glad we did that. I think it's better than the pink. So we just did a, a 180. <laughs> okay, now we have our pearls. We're gonna add a few embellishments to our projects. Let's add some pearls here. And just using my craft pick, we're going to add a few pearls here and there with inky fingers. So I finished up adding my pearls in here. I just put them in the open areas in my white background. And then I added them to these fish as if they were bubbles off to the left. And I did add a few on the front of my shaker, just for a little added dimension. But those are my projects today with the Hero Arts My Monthly Hero Kit for June 2022. I hope this gives you some ideas and I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.